Hey everybody, it's Mike from Anglers. So we're gonna do a little something different here. We're gonna do a Z-Man rigging um, tutorial and some of my little tips or hacks that I like to do to um, be more productive out on the water. So first we're gonna start off with a regular jig head. This is the, um, the redfish eye from Z-Man here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rig it on a five inch scented jerk shads. This one's in Laguna shrimp. So cool thing about Z-Man, super stretchy, super, super durable. Sometimes you can have problems with them hold, staying on the jig head. So I'm gonna rig it. What I like to do first is take it, the bait, hold it on top of the hook, make sure, measure it and see where it's gonna come out. And then I'll mark it with my thumb and then I'll take the hook and just make a little tick mark just like that so you can kind of see where it's going to come out now this is very important you're going to want to put it right in the middle of the nose of the bait and just feed it down and make sure you're going down straight you feed it little by little make sure it's going on fairly straight and then come out right where you made that little mark just like so now these have specific um keepers that will pretty much hold your z-man on you kind of squeeze and pinch sometimes you can do this and pull up just to get it over that those keepers so you want it nice and straight on the plastic if you catch a bunch of fish and have a great day of fishing sometimes these keepers can wear out and your z-man plastic will keep falling down one of my tips is just take another hook and since this is elastic and super stretchy i will take it hook a little piece right there and just pull it right over the eye. Of course, it's not working. These have, they're scented, so they have all this juicy procure on it. And then be careful to pull it out so you don't rip it with the barb of the hook. And now it looks a little weird, but it's gonna last you a lot longer. And now that thing is not going anywhere. I mean, you can pull on it as hard as you want. It's not gonna go anywhere because that elastic is stretched over the eye and is holding that plastic on. Like I said, it does look a little odd, but the fish won't care and it will work really, really well. So that's how you rig a standard um, redfish eye jig head with a five inch scented jerk shad. Okay, so let's move on to a few different paddle tail baits. So we have some four inch diesel minnows here and we have the three inch minnows. So what I like to do, if it depends on where I'm fishing, is rig these weedless or just with the standard jig head. If I'm fishing super shallow water for like speckled trout and rockfish during the fall, things like that, I'll go with a weedless hook. This is the TT Lures chin locks hook made for G-Man plastics. So this is the four out hook size. You typically wanna use this right hook size for your bait. You can go down to a three inch, three out hook with this four inch bait. But right here for demonstration purposes, I have this four out. So what I'll do is take it like again, right in the middle of the nose of the bait I'll just poke it down a little bit and just come right out the bottom, just like that. Then I will push it over the weight, then over the keeper. Then, since these have a little slit in the bottom of the diesel minnow, I will kind of rest it in there and measure it to see where it's gonna come up through the plastic to be straight. So I'm gonna kind of mark it with my thumb, kind of bend it, push it up, make sure it gets right between these fins here. Just like so. That is a perfectly rigged diesel minnow on a four out chin locks hook in one six ounce. So the neat thing about this, you don't have to skin hook it because diesel minnows have these little fins here that as you can see, keep it nice and weedless. But when a fish bites, you got the hook exposed and this plastic can move down. So that's a really, really effective bait to use for speckled trout, rockfish, especially for fishing any grass flats, you're gonna get a lot of grass on your lure. This will prevent you from getting snagged and getting all that grass on your bait. Then what I'll do is I'll take Procure. This is the shrimp scent. You can use Menhaden, Bloodworm, anything. And with these little slits on the bottom, I'll take this little nozzle. I'm not gonna do it, of course. And I will just put it in there and squeeze and run the entire way up. And that bait will keep you 
nice and scented for a while while fishing. And then every probably 15, 20 casts, I'll just give them another little squirt just to keep it fresh. That's how you rig a four inch diesel minnow. Another one to rig is the three inch minnows. So you can use the trout eyes jig heads, which are a little bit shorter, smaller, thinner hook. You can use um, the the finesse shrooms head, heads, um, or you can use the willow vibes. I prefer the willow vibes just because it gives a little bit more flash and vibration in the water. And this hook is the perfect size for this three inch plastic. So what I'll do is I'll do the same thing. I'll measure it on the hook, kind of see where it's gonna come out. Kind of give it a little tick mark here. Just to see where it's gonna come out. All right, we'll just put it right down the middle again. And you all, like I said previously, you always wanna make sure that the hook is gonna be straight into the bait. That way you don't get any curve in the bait and make it be an unnatural presentation. Then these also have fins, so just come out right where you made that tick mark, right in the middle of the fin. And then kind of push up, push up. You can pull it because it's elastic. And then that little wire keeper, as you can see here, is like a little metal barb. So what I'll do is I will just squeeze the plastic and kind of dig that Z-Man elastic product into that barb and then kind of work it back and then kind of just dig it in. Just work it until you really feel it really catch like that. So that is a nice little Willow Vibes here. Perfect for speckled trout. I've caught white perch on these because it's still not a huge hook and it's still uh, only a three inch bait and you catch those big um, white perch on them here in the bay with this rig. So that's one way of rigging the, the, uh, the three inch minnows. All right, so let's move on to the easy shrimps. So we have one here, this is a natural color, one of my favorite go-to colors because it's natural, as you can see. So the cool thing about this is it has some slots here that make it have a little bit more action, yet it's still very stretchy and won't tear. My favorite way is to rig these under a popping cork where you would just throw it in shallow water, have a popping cork about anywhere from 10 to 20 inches of line, depending on how deep you're fishing, and give it pop, 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 let it pause, let it fall down, and jerk it pop, 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 and let it just dance around. And what that'll do, depending on how you rig it, it'll fall, have a descent like that, and this whole tail will kind of move around just like a real shrimp. So um, another way is on a jig head. One of my go-tos for these are the Power Finesse Shrooms jig head. This is a one fifth ounce. And it happens to match up really perfectly with these um, easy shrimps. So what I'll do, do the same thing, measure. And now it's going to come out right in this big segment before these other appendages um, start to, um, the hook comes out right before that. So what I'll do, get it straight right down the middle of the nose of the bait. Come through, make sure it's straight. Come out right on that hook that I made and then just kind of feed it up give it a nice little squeeze on that keeper of course you can see I didn't rig that one straight nice thing about Z-Man plastics is you can unrig it and not have to worry about tearing the bait because it's so stretchy there we go there we go nice and straight so what I'll do, cast this out. Since that weighted head's there and this um, Z-Man elastic uh, is buoyant, it'll fall and it'll dance just like that. And you'll twitch it and it will jump and fall and stand just like that on the bottom. Great redfish, speckled trout. I've, even, I've caught a ton of rockfish. I've even caught a big white perch on these, surprisingly. And the best thing that they do is they put a little slot right there, put shrimp procure, Squeeze it right in there, squeeze it right in the back here, and you'll be good to go, and fish will hold on a lot longer. So that's another way you can rig the easy shrimps. It's a really good presentation for um, fishing shallow water, like down in the, the flats of the bay, um, things like that. Nice, super strong hook on that. Okay. Next, we're gonna go with the trout tricks. This is an opening night color. So this is more like a jerk shad, but thinner profile, a um, little bit different profile. 
One of my favorite ways to rig these are on the Texas side jig heads. This is in quarter ounce. Now the cool thing about this, it's similar to the chin locks hooks, but it has the weighted swivel head. So I'll kind of do the same thing here. I will put it down just like this, right in the middle of the bait. Pull it through, right in the bottom. Feed it all the way up over that keeper. There we go. Just like that. I will take my bait, I will measure it where the hook is gonna come out, and I will just feed it straight up through plastic, come out right in that, that little trough area. And then I will just pull it forward and just give it like a little bit of a skin hook to keep it weedless. Now what that's gonna do, you cast it out in shallow water, you twitch it, that head is just gonna move and that thing is just gonna dart all over the place and it's a really, really good effective bait for shallow water fishing, especially in the fall. If you get the, the top water bite here in the bay for rockfish and then it slowly gets light, more light and the fish move a little bit deeper and they're not quite hitting top water, these are one of my go-tos to throw out and twitch and it looks just like a little eel, it looks just like a little bait fish that they're gonna munch on all the time. I always put Procure on it. That's just personal preference. I have more confidence with lures with Procure on it, but that's a good color opening night rigged with this Texas Eye jig head from Z-Man. Now, moving gears over to some fresh water, the Zinkers we just got in. So these are heavy salt impregnated. They still are Elastec, but they have a lot of salt in them. So they will sink. My favorite way to rig this is with one of these TRD spins as well as not this exact hook, but any style of this hook here, which is just like a wacky rig hook. So what I'll do is I will take the bait. First, I will take the TRD spins and I will feed it right down the tail of the bait. Keep going, kind of feed it in, feed it in. Just like so. So what that does, you add a little bit of flash to your bait. So when it falls, you have a um, wacky rig, which is basically putting that hook straight through the middle of this bait, right about there, right in the middle. And then what I'll do is I'll get some nail weights or even actual little tiny nails and stick them like actual nails you use for wood and put them in the bait. That way it gives a little bit of weight on the nose and then your hook here. And what that will do is will fall like that and you twitch it and this whole bait will almost go like that and then shoot out open and then it will stand straight up and it has that blade that's just going to kick because it has a ball bearing swivel and that thing just spins and spins and spins with any little twitch as you can see there and that is a really effective bait you can i've used them for rockfish great for largemouth bass snakehead will eat the heck out of that things like that any freshwater applications where you would use a sanko style bait the zinkers are where you want that's a great color. That's Gobi Bryant. And that's a great application for fresh water. So I hope this these little bit of tips and rigging um, video helped you guys um, with your Z-Man plastics. Because I know that we all love them here. I'm sure you guys do too. So thanks for tuning in and see you next time.